Hi, I'm Jeff Boyce Cars. This is my Saab 95 Aero Hot Hot Turbo Turbo Aero Estate. It's very cool, but every time I've gone to do some filming with it, it's been pissing down, and I haven't got a camera mount with me, so I'm not going to be able to do some filming. So I'm going to cut in some footage of me shouting about Saab Aero Turbos. 250 horsepower of Sweden's finest. Hot, hot aero turbo, hot aero hot turbo. This is a quick car that you can get into for like a couple of grand. Another one gone, I guess. I didn't get a chance to spend much time with this car because I had too many cars at the same time. I did that thing that I always do when I say, right, I'm not gonna buy too many cars this time. I'm not gonna buy loads of cars. Then I went and bought loads of cars and as a result, I've hardly driven this one. I've been rocking around in other cars and I haven't had a chance to do much with it. What an idiot because it's such a good car. If you haven't driven a Saab 95 Aero, 2.3 turbo, 250 or 230 horsepower, you need to go and buy one right now. If you can find one, there aren't that many available for sale. And these early ones are looking very good. If that was a BMW or Mercedes with that sort of performance, you'd be paying way more money. These Saab Aeros are an absolute bargain. Go and buy a Saab Aero now while they're still cheap, while people don't realize they're as good as they are, because they are epic. It's a great looking car as well, isn't it? I mean, that is a purposeful looking estate car. It really is. Yes, there's a little bit of rust on it, but you know, it's not the end of the world, is it? All right, walk around video. I've got about five minutes before I have to pick the kids up from school. So what we got on this one? Superb mechanical history, just a few marks. So there's a knock on that front bumper there, car park ding. I got a little bit of rust on the leading edge of the door. I got a little bit of rust in the middle of the door. Inside, Lovely, spare key, already on the seat, look. Some sort of Bluetooth weirdo system. Back seats, it's got some back seats, which is good. And it's got a boot. I still haven't learned how to open the fucking boot on a Saab, have I? Do we open the boot? You'd think I would learn. Right, button there for the boot, look. Which is stupid. Saabs are stupid. But, Nice big boot, a big scratch on it. There we go, huge boot, tow bar. What's under there? Oh, a little tray thing, oh, that's, what's that doing? Nobody knows. What's under there? Uh, there we go, spare wheel, lovely. Max speed, 50 mile an hour, which is quite funny in a car that can actually do 150 mile an hour. And I bet it would, you know. I bet this car would do 150 mile an hour. It's absolutely rapid. Although I can't really show you that because A, I haven't got any time, but most importantly, B, it's illegal. Saab so know how to do a dashboard. They know how to do an interior. I don't know how to do a valet. Key goes in here, look. Right, I've got a lot of wood and I've got absolutely no fuel. 19 miles I've got. Fuel light is on, 119,006 miles. Um, I haven't got a phone mount with me. Can I put this anywhere and film and show you how rapid this car is? Let me try. It's a bit of a weird angle, isn't it? But I say, I apologize, I haven't got my phone mount with me um, because I've been running around. I've done a Saab 9000 video this morning. Up close and personal with my Saab. And done some stuff with the Volvo. Turbo wheels and new tires for my Volvo. And driven the Astra and driven the wife's car. So, um, oh, and I've got all your postcards ready for the Pablo special. Right, let's go. Wheel spin, wheel spin, wheel spin. I've only ever driven a Saab 95 Aero in the wet. It was the same when I sold that bloody blue one. Wheel spin, wheel spin. Absolutely pissed it down on the day that Sam came to collect that car. Hear the turbo? I always feel like Jeremy Clarkson when I drive one of these because I want to go, this is a quick car. The rate this thing goes in second gear from 40 to 70 miles an hour is just... <laughs> that is sensational. Better be quick anyway. Right, how long have we got? We've got 17 minutes before I'm going to pick the kids up from school. This is an automatic, but somehow this car feels like it weighs about 200 kilos. The acceleration on this car is that good. You just feel like, I won't do it now because I know that I'm in a 30 and you've just seen that I'm in a 30 because you were driving with me. Through the way the engine engages, the turbo engages and the way the gearing is and the way the steering is set up, it feels like such a lighter car 
than something like a 3 Series. You drive a 3 Series, it feels sturdy, it feels heavy. You drive a Saab and it just feels light on its feet. It's the same with the smaller engines as well. Obviously, this is the engine to have. You know, if you're gonna have one, you've gotta have this engine. Six to eight. We'll do that again on the way back, but we'll put it in sport mode this time. Be interesting to see if it can get the power down without spinning up the wheels. Handles beautifully. Like I said, it feels light on its feet. Lovely little car. Really a joy to drive. Easy to drive as well. You know, why would you not own one of these? They're just absolutely wicked. Right, sport mode this time. I'll do it again, but there's no one coming. Ready? And it's not a rolling start. That is stopped, there's no one coming. First gear. That is quick, that is. That is a quick car. You should go buy one right now. You should absolutely go and buy one. Anyway, the guy that's coming to buy this car has just texted me. I've just seen that that's come up on the phone. So um, that's it. That's the end of my video. That's the end of my review. I know this is supposed to be a buying and selling channel, but I'm not going to tell you how much I pay for this car. That being said, I did put it up for £2,200, which I thought was reasonable, considering I sold the blue one for £2,100. This has done less mileage and is arguably in better mechanical condition. Um, no one came to buy it, so in the end, I sold it from a chat from the Jeff Buys Cars Insider Group for 1550 quid, which was a bargain. So that's it. That concludes the, um, the Saab 95 video. I basically got this car for free. So, um, bit of a story as to how I ended up getting it for free. Sold it for 1550 quid, which um, I think was a bargain, really, for a Saab 95 aero hot turbo turbo hot aero an early car with 119,000 miles on it and great service history that was an absolute bargain i don't know why nobody bought this car for two grand someone should have paid two grand for this car because it's worth it and then i would have made even more money but um there we go what did i do with the profit used it to pay off a credit card sorry that's not very exciting is it but this one was never really part of the main sort of channel um so you know when this one dropped in um yeah me and Mrs. Jeff decided that we had higher priorities. Well, Mrs. Jeff decided that there were higher priorities than buying cars. I don't really think there's ever higher priorities than buying cars, but um, there we go. Thank you for watching and um, good night. I don't, I'm not very really sure why I said good night then. It was a bit odd, wasn't it? Anyway, my phone's going. To be fair, I have shot and edited the entire other video today. This one I didn't even intend to do, but I should have done it this morning when it wasn't raining. My watch gone. Sure, I was wearing one earlier. Well, this has been the crappiest video yet, hasn't it? No tripod, no camera mount, no good weather, no watch. Jeff buys cars. YouTube's most disorganised car channel. There was a part of me that wondered whether I should have kept this and sold the Volvo 940, but I think if I'd kept this. I'd probably lose my driving license. Again. <laughs> Jeff buys cars. YouTube's most boring car channel.